आप देख रहे हैं आवाज वॉइस और मैं हूँ आपके साथ अमीना माजिद इस वक्त मैं मौजूद हूँ जंगपुरा में जहाँ एक इंटरफेयर डिस्कशन हो रहा है फास्टिंग इन डिफरेंट रिलीजियस ट्रेडिशन के ऊपर आइए बात करते हैं यहाँ के लोगों से oh, sir, see, actually, we have been working, uh, <coughs> in fact, we established Interfaith Coalition for Peace. That was about 18 years ago in Delhi, and since then the objective is to uh, find out commonalities among various faith traditions. So, um, with that end in view, we have been doing a lot of programs uh, by way of meetings and conferences, as well as outdoor programs also. So, one of the a programs has been this talking about the commonalities in the uh, field of uh, fasting in various faiths so that's how this has been organized today when people of different faiths uh, sit together and uh, they join heads their heads together and uh, try to study and share with each other what are the best practices in each faith, faith in different fields and today we are talking about fasting then a lot of positivity comes into so that is the purpose so that's the just like that and that's how we have assembled today and the representatives of various faiths will talk about what their particular faith says what are what should be the practice for fasting etc what are the benefits advantages etc how it is useful to the society at large that's how we are it gives uh, a spiritual solace yes sure definitely at the same time this also the fasting in uh, islam and i'm sure in other faiths also also uh, improve the health of the individual so if the health of the individual is improved and that is proved scientifically also that many fact many a time in many circumstances the um, doctor tells the patient that you should fast for some time so if one is in the habit of fasting as a part of the routine maybe annual routine sometimes it is monthly sometimes it is weekly also so that gives a lot of uh, positivity to the health of the individual so if the individual is more healthy sec- then of course it it uh, brightens up the society also at the same time while fasting one also thinks about those who have to fast by compulsion because of poverty so one gets that feeling and one says starts thinking that okay fine let me cut out out of my provisions and share with the other zakat is one of the basic pillars of islam ramzan is another pillar but because uh, it is believed that any thing good you do in the month of ramzan Uh, for the pleasure of the creator then the reward that you get that gets multiplied because it is done in ramzan so same thing applies to zakat also zakat is a mandatory charity as you know about it so if zakat can be paid any time throughout the year it is upon the individual but then usually people select ramzan so that the spiritual reward of paying the charity is multiplied manifold Uh, how and uh, uh, these spiritual exercises are meant towards that and surprisingly uh, the spirituality across the board um, shares so many uh, common things despite having different traditions and fasting uh, like prayer uh, is one thing that we all share i'm father thomas from matoma church uh, now serving as the principal of the st john's school great kailash uh, we are also do, uh, observing the fasting it's a, a period of we are the kind of self discipline and it's a kind of spiritual um, fostering and uh, we are making a practice for closing to more closer to god like the way we have <laughs> done the different types of 
tradition according to our faith and practices of Mahatma Church.